What's up guys, it's TechRing. I am back on my test world for another test world update. And I have got to show you my greatest test world invention ever. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna explain that later. But, uh, there's some new stuff. My brother was, hold on. Okay, so my brother was playing around with redstone. He's like, Seth, look what I can make. I said, congratulations, Luke. And I left it on here. And he's nine. Congratulations, Luke. Okay, so L5 wanted me to make this, but I tried and I failed. I thought I did it right, but I didn't. Oh, well. Uh, this was supposed to be an automatic wheat harvesting machine. Where uh, I basically took a block update detector, which is a bud switch. And every time this corner of wheat grew, or changed, or this block did something different, this thing would flip out. And then eventually, this is what happened. Hold on. Come on, do it. About to do it, come on. Come on, when's he gonna do it? Well, you know what? I did not have these pistons set up. That really sucks. Well, maybe it maybe it does work. I don't know. Uh, hold on, let me just... Okay. There we go. I've got it set up now, but... What's supposed to happen is... When a certain amount, like 8, which is how many wheat there is... It'll uh, drop some water from here... And it'll go down, it'll pour into there... All of the wheat will go into the center, hopefully, without falling out on the side right here where the fences are. But whatever. It didn't really work as I thought it, it would work. Uh, since my last... Oh my gosh, that was weird. Uh, oh yeah. It's stupid pyramid. I'm just going to remove this. Because that's really annoying. Oh yeah. I can't remember, but I think on my last test world update, I, uh, I only had this gate right here. Since last time I added a lot more just for testing purposes. Um, this is going to be the grand finale because this is what I like just finished making like a few minutes ago. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's legit. But uh, this is my best piston gate so far. There is a separate fun separate but uh gosh I can't speak today. Separate button for lifting up the gate and, a, and another button for pushing it back down. And uh, if you want to see how this works, you can go ahead and download the world, download the world, if you want to. Uh, I suggest you do because it's. I mean, if you want to, because I, I bet you want to know how this works. But uh, if you don't, then don't download the world. I mean, maybe you want you just maybe you're an amazing subscriber who wants to download my world all the time, like every update. But this is a. Uh, this is basically. A, yeah, basically. Base. This is so basic. I don't even need this here. Um, this is a uh, a lock, or not a lock, but a, a four-digit pin thing. Um, I think I might make a tutorial on this. Uh, yes, I probably will. I'm also gonna be making a tutorial on this right after. Um, right after I make this video, I think. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling today uh, about it but it also has a reset button which is what this little thingy is for the little gray thing right here uh, yeah so let's just use it it's top left top right bottom right and bottom left and that should open there we go isn't that amazing so yeah and as you can see if you didn't notice from before when I did that, oh wait, what the heck? This is new to be here. Um, 
if you did not notice before I pressed in the buttons, these blocks were down. Now let me explain what happens now. Basically, I, I'm going to say basically a lot now, just be prepared, okay? So basically, I press the button. See, the first one is this blue one, alright? The blue one, uh, the blue circuit goes right into a T flip-flop, which goes into an AND gate, which then comes around and goes into a piston right here, which allows the green, the green button right here, which is the top right button, if I'm looking this way, which is, uh, this button right here, this button, so that's the green one. That, that's what allows the green one to go through, so it has to be next. Then it goes into this T flip flop and into another AND gate. I know I could have done an inverter, but like, I wasn't thinking then, so I just put an AND gate there, which is like my best way of doing this. But yeah, I did an AND gate, and then this goes around and then allows the pink one, and then does another T flip flop, then it goes through another AND gate, and uh, it goes up this little vertical wire and pushes up this orange one so the orange one can come through and now when the orange one comes through it goes through a uh, another T flip flop which one goes around over here and opens the door and it also it also turns on this little light this is what I had before just to like test it whoops I did not mean to get that um yeah so that's basically the op the turning it on but now here's the reset now, if you remember from the AND gates, uh, you might have seen more than one way going out, and I only explained one. Well, here's the other way. Uh, this other one over here all go to the corresponding color right here on the... Actually, no, let me let me start it from where the button is, okay? The button's on this block right here, this one, okay? And it goes out and powers all these, which have uh, torches under them. They have redstone torches under them, which then... Uh, which then turn these ones off by default. So now all these are off. So then when I press the button, it for one little pulse. Yeah, let me do this right here. Reset. She'll then do that and close the door. And then also these will come back down. So it'll go through here. And what happens is each one will go back and re-trigger the the T flip flop. Okay. So if if one of the T flip flops is on, if it's on, then it will send a signal over here to to the corresponding block to raise it up. Isn't that great? Uh, if you do not understand what I'm saying, you could download the world for yourself. I suggest you do because it helps me. Helps me good. Helps me really, really good. And, uh, let's see. Oh, this is one that my brother was making. This, uh, this is when... This is why I made this. Because he's like, Seth, I bet you can't make a cooler Glock than this. I was like, I bet I can. And I constructed this baby. Which is probably the best redstone creation I've ever made in my life. <laughs> but, uh, he actually did a pretty good job for a nine-year-old. If anything other than these six levers are pulled... The door will not be opened. It doesn't matter what order it's in. Well. Because that one didn't work. Oh, maybe these ones. Oh, I've seen I see some errors. Errors. So any of the middle ones will not affect it. Any on the side will affect it. Okay, so I just figured that out. But uh yeah. Uh, this world will be up for download. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.